Hey all, it's Nim or Nimacree if you're feeling professional and welcome to the YouTube video. Now today we're going to be going over how to connect to my personal Xmage server. <laughs> Some of you may ask, what is Xmage? Xmage is kind of like a private server where you can play Magic the Gathering games. Uh, they have Commander, Draft, EDH. The important thing is that Magic by and large has some toxic players and the community has cool people. But some of those people are like, mm, yikes. Like, just look at them and you're like, oh. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to go over how do you connect to connect to the server. I'll have my server IP address there as well. You can play with me or anybody in my community. Keep in mind, though, we don't tolerate toxicity. And before we get started, I do want to mention I stream on Twitch, Saturday and Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday and Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Something's up on the screen now. All right, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so here we are. This is the first step we need to connect to my Xmage server. First, you want to make sure that you download Java Runtime Environment. Now, reason for that is when you download Xmage, it's going to say, hey, you need something for Xmage. And this is, if you don't have Java Runtime Environment installed on your PC, the launcher will never run. Then from there, pretty simple. You should go to, let's go to Xmage. Boom, Xmage. All right, we go to xmage.de home. That is the Xmage launcher. You download it. I've already downloaded it. I'm not going to go through clicking that. I'm sure you guys know how to install a video or uh, and how to install a, a program. If not, um, DM me on Twitter at Nimicry and I will walk you through it. I, I promise, but odds are most people know how to do this. So from there, we then open up our Xmage server. So let me go. Let me go to my downloads. Let me go to my downloads. So I've got down. I've got Xmage there. So go to Xmage. I then open up the Xmage launcher, which you can see I downloaded last week. We open that up. Boom. Okay, you see that? So this is Xmage. Uh, we've got. I've got the most recent available. Then what we do, especially if this is your first time, this might take a little while, we launch the client. Now, if you mouse over, it'll say, launch client client application only. Use this if you're connecting to your remote XMH server, play against others. Launch client and server if you're playing against locally, against AI. Launch server if you want to run an XMH server. Now, if you are a server admin, that'll be something you run. You can then check versions and update as well. Pretty simple, pretty easy. There's a forum, a website. You can get a lot of stuff done. And uh, the community is pretty helpful, too. So we just click launch client. This window, this client console will pop up. Now it's going to populate with a bunch of things. If this is your first time running it, that's going to take a little while. Uh, as you can see, I've, I just I updated it earlier today, made sure everything was good before I started recording the video. And that will get us there. Now you see our server name right there, which is 104.248.232.90. That's my personal server. There I am, Nimicry. You can see that's that's who I am. Uh, you know, we flag, we're great. You can show out different things, check online status. User. There is no password at the moment. Uh, there might be a password depending on how many people get involved with this. Uh, and if, of course, if we have people who decide to troll us, well, listen, I, I've got pretty thick skin. Uh, you can you can troll all you want. We're going to be all right. So then we connect the server. Boom. Pretty simple. And once it's once it's done connecting, it'll show. There it is. Okay, so we've got, we are now officially on the server if someone was with, in here with me i could actually play magic against them or if other people were in here we could play magic together so then from there what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the sim you're going to want to click symbols do you want to download game symbols and additional image files yes the reason you want to do that is it helps the, it shows what's on the cards because your original base download doesn't actually come with that so just click yes doing my thing just downloaded pretty simple now, i have pretty fast internet too and i'm hardwired so that might be there and then the question is, do you want to download images? Yep, loading cards list. Finding missing images. Do its thing. All images from selected sources. Uh, that's what we want to do. And yeah, I want to actually get that start. We'll start that download. It's preparing the download list. Now, I've already done this, so that's one of those things. I still have yet to get the card art to work perfectly at every time, especially with updates. But that's essentially how we connect to the server. And once you do those two things, okay, we see that it's downloading now. Uh, once you do those two things, then you'll be able to play Magic the Gathering with the community as much as you'd like. So we're going to just move that over to the side there. Let's go to our, uh, let's go to switch panels here. Uh, oh, it may not let me, okay, it's not going to let me do that. All right, guys, I'm going to cut the recording for a second, and we'll be right back. And we are, and we're back. Okay, so you can see we finished downloading the thing. 
let's go over to our deck editor. Let's click on the deck editor. It should take us over to where we need to be. There it is. And so now what we can do is I can actually go through here, search for a card. I can search for decks. I can search for cards. This is where you save a deck when you search for it. So, for example, if I do D-I-M-I -I, Demir, and I search, that should let me find what I'm looking for. There it is. Okay, well, never mind. That's... I'm still working with some of the, some of the, some of the features are one of those things. So if I go I go to load, and we go over here to XMH Dex files, you see that I've got Demir trial. So I load that up, boom, and there it is. There there is my Demir trial deck. As in, it was a deck I was messing around with just to have some fun with. It's obviously not standard. You know, it's got a lot of things in there that are, well, <laughs> some some not some standard, some not. Uh, like for example, Glimpse the Unthinkable is absolutely not standard. But let's say I want to search for something else, right? So let's say we'll go to new. Boom. Let's search for uh, a Johnny. Search for Johnny. So we search. It should it should come up at some point here. It's running through everything. There it is. We've got a little bit of a load. And okay, so we see we see a Johnny Goldman, a Johnny Steadfast, a Johnny Unyielding, a Johnny's Aid, a Johnny's Chosen, a Johnny's Pride Mate. And so all this stuff. Uh, the only thing this doesn't have that I'm aware of is the uh, mutate. It doesn't have the mutate because the mechanics are hard to do. But with that, you guys can save your own sets. I can go in here and decide which set I'm going to search for. Ext standard, Extended Frontier, Joke Sets, Ikoria, all, the, all those things there. And then when we go into Preferences, so let's go to Preferences. We show the card name and card panel, uh, card tooltip. We've got turn on in-game logs, save logs, save draft logs. Uh, we can put non-permanents in the same row, player names, avatar, display life, a bunch of other things. We've got GUI, phases and priority, you know, default stop steps if skip buttons aren't activated, which is pretty simple depending on your stuff. You can actually turn off images, or turn off, uh, images and you can turn off sounds. Uh, there are some actual sounds uh, when you start where it's like, game has started. It's kind of a creepy voice, so that's something there. And of course your avatars, you can choose whatever to ever, ever avatar you want. I currently have that gentleman. Um, I haven't actually decided what I'm going to do avatar-wise, so that'll be something there. And then, of course, connection and controls. So this, so this, you can keybind to different controls to confirm, skip, enter, all those things. And that's essentially that's essentially it to get started. After that, it's just you logging in, playing with us. Check the Discord. Uh, there's will be a link to the Discord in the video description, and we'll see what happens. All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all those other things that bigger YouTube say. I'd like to also take this time now to thank my patrons. Uh, we've got, we're going to have a list on the screen of the patrons. Boom. There's the list. And I want to thank you guys for that because here's the thing. In low places, and sometimes I'm, I'm in low places, you guys make it possible for me to be like, Nim, you're good. Your brain's just mean to you. All right, well, until the next time, my name was Nim, or Nim McCree, if you're feeling professional. Keep gaming and enjoy life. Bye.